everyone, it is Sarah and Bella, and we are back again for another review of New York's hottest new attractions. And today we are at, no lie, probably the coolest thing that's gonna open up in New York in the next several years. It's called Summit One Vanderbilt. We're gonna give you a whole tour of this experience. Bella's a big fan because it's covered in mirrors. Yes, let's start, right? But first, if you enjoy our Sarah and Bella review videos, please subscribe to our channel so that Bella can go and do more reviews because she loves them, right? Say thanks, guys. Yay, thanks, 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 thanks. Let's start the review. We are about to start our ascent into Summit One Vanderbilt. Bella's very ready, she's very excited. She is the first baby to be on the summit. Congratulations, how do you feel? That's great. Let's go do it, let's do it, okay. <gasps> Bella, are you drooling already? You're drooling out of amazement? This is only a little bit of the mirror. So this elevator has a glowing um, light box on the bottom and mirrors around all edges. Literally the doors are mirrors, the ceilings mirrors, everything is mirrors. She's peeing right now and I can feel it. Oh, Thank you, Bella. Wow. This reminds me of a Drake music video. You know, like hotline bling, like that. Oh my God. What the heck? This is insane. So this is Transcendence 1. It's nuts because everything's covered by mirrors 360. You have this amazing view of the Empire State Building. Don't wear a dress here, ladies or men. You know, some men like to wear dresses, that's fine. Uh, because you can literally see right up everything. And there's a floor above us. You can't even tell. But one of the things that the designer, Kenzo, decided to do when he made this space was make it so the people above seem like your reflection. So you're kind of fully immersed in this reflection experience that's meant to be both literal and symbolic. Look at the city view, wow. This is crazy, I, it's like trippy because I can almost not tell like what is mirror and what is glass and what is, oh God, it's nuts. We are on the 91st floor right now and that's about 1,000 feet above the ground. I don't know the meters of that. What do you think of that? Isn't that crazy? She can see herself. Bella, look at you. Look, that's you. They're very clean here, by the way. They designed um, Summit One Vanderbilt during uh, the pandemic. So they take all possible cleaning processes. They're also sustainable. <laughs> She's like, wow, wow, wow. There's light filtration, there's air filtration here. All different types of filtration. They literally mop this floor so much, you could probably eat a meal off of it. Uh, Bella's attempting to. Bella, 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 Bella. This is literally like her dream world. Like, mirrors are the greatest thing to her on Earth. So there's two giant circle cutouts on either side. The ceilings in the center are 40 feet up. So it's very, very high. There a lot of corporations are gonna have events here and they're gonna be absolutely incredible. And I bet there are gonna be some music videos filmed here. I'm just gonna call it out. I'm gonna call it out now. On the way to Affinity, we are passing a piece of art by Yayu Kasama. She is an artist that's been doing all different types of unique pieces since 1960. She actually has a lot of pieces in the New York Botanical Garden. And this looks like pools of mirrors and it's supposed to be representatives of clouds and reflect the light coming in from the windows. This room I've been so excited about and I can't wait to go in. It's called Affinity Air. This is nuts, you guys. This. <laughs> This room's called Affinity. Bella is absolutely amazed. The balloons around me are floating because they're a mix of helium and another liquid. Woo! Woo! What do you think? <laughs> she is like so amazed right now. This is crazy, you guys. It's like I'm in a hurricane of balloons. This whole thing only costs about $39, but I would pay $39 just to be in here. Where's Bella? Where's Bella? <laughs> I could stay in here for hours. So in addition to this crazy room, you have unobstructed views of Central Park. What is that? Oh. <laughs> So we're 
on Transcendence 2 right now. This is the second floor above Transcendence 1, which is where you first enter. And this allows you to look down on the people in Transcendence 1, and it almost makes you feel like you're looking at a reflection of yourself. But what stands out to me most here is the view of the city. Yeah, right? Exactly. You can see every single element of New York City here from the Statue of Liberty to One World Trade. You have an amazing view of the Chrysler Building, which no other observatory has, by the way. You also see Queens, you see Brooklyn, you see the Bronx, you see New Jersey. Absolutely amazing views. And they're just as good as the view that you get from Top of the Rock, which by the way, I had previously said that Top of the Rock was the best view, but this kind of just wins over that because you have the mirrors, you have the cool art experiences. Okay, these guys are cleaning the window and they're on the 96th floor. Would you do that job? That's scary, right? Are you looking at yourself? Are you looking at yourself? Here are the uh, circle areas you can look down. When I came here the first time, we did a photo shoot here and I got some pretty incredible shots. They have another fabulous thing to see here and it is a completely glass box on the outside of the building. Here we are, we are in levitation, this is called. And when you enter this room, it kind of sounds like wind going by the skyscraper. But this is the really cool part here. You're looking 1,056 feet straight down to the ground. Would you do it? This is, this is, oh my God, this is so crazy. Ah, Bella, look at this. Bella, what do you think? Look, look at the cars. Look at the cars, you see the taxis? This is a really nice shot of the Empire State Building. Um, also, you're just like fully 360 in a glass box. It's so crazy. So you are 1,063 feet directly above Madison Avenue right here. You can actually see Bryant Park and the New York Public Library. Fun fact, did you know that there are thousands and thousands of the rarest books in the world hidden inside of Bryant Park right under that grass? Pretty cool, right? If you want to do a tour, I'll link that below. You know I do private tours all the time. Bella says, if I can sit here, then you can sit here because you're not gonna fall because otherwise they get a big lawsuit. Yay! <laughs> We're on the 93rd floor now at a press. This is their Nordic inspired cafe. They serve all types of food here. Look at this, look at this. Saratoga water, that's my hometown. Very exciting. In the Nordic inspiration and in the Nordic tradition, fireplace, because Nordic countries are freezing. <laughs> That is cool. There is no fireplace in any other observatory. I can promise you that. They also have a bar outside that serves uh, Danny Meyer drinks. Um, he's a restaurateur in New York, very famous. So it's very high quality stuff you're getting here. Got some nice lounge music out here. So we're here on the Summit Terrace. Best views of the Empire State Building. It's an outdoor space, right? So there's nothing above me. This is the highest alpine meadow in the Western Hemisphere. It goes all the way around. This is, it's not just like this one individual thing. So they'll be serving some really nice drinks out here. You know, I'd say this is a, definitely a good uh, date night or maybe a good place to make some solid business deals. I mean, who wouldn't agree to a nice business deal with that view? There's one more thing I gotta show you. It is called Ascent. You can see the elevator going up right now. Look at that! So we're in Ascent. This is an additional cost on your ticket price, but definitely worth it, because this is gonna go to the second highest observation point in the city. That means you are almost exactly as high as One World Trade. There's only a 50 feet difference. This brings you 1,200 feet up. One World Trade is 1,250 feet up. If you're afraid of heights, Maybe don't do this, but if Bella can do it, you can do it. If Bella can do it, you can do it, yay. What's happening? She's more fascinated by the little dots on the floor than the fact that she's 1,200 feet above everything. To do Ascent, which is this elevator experience, 
It's $20 more. You're missing the view. It's $20 extra on your ticket price. So instead of $39, you're going to be paying $59. You can buy it together when you buy your tickets or you can upgrade when you get here. So it will go up um, to 1,200 feet and then it stays here for about a minute and a half to three minutes depending on how many people are here in one Vanderbilt today. The, the difference here is with One World Trade, you would have a similar view, but you don't have the ability to have a glass floor. So it's like you're in a skybox. It's crazy. What do you think? Do you like it? So you guys, that's the end of our tour for Summit One Vanderbilt. I hope you liked it. My conclusion is that this is the best observatory the city has. I had previously said that the edge was the best, but this has all of the elements of the edge plus more and they have a great Danny Meyer cocktail bar on the top, which you know, I'm always a fan of cocktail bars. Um, so definitely don't miss it. You can get tickets via the link below. Bella, what do you think? Yeah, exactly. Thanks so much and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.